hello and welcome to this session today we are going to see how can we create free SQL database for our testing purpose so there are multiple websites that offer this service so that you can create free database for your testing today we are going to look at these two website one is free SQL database.com and other one is TB for free dot net so let us start and let us go to Google and let us type free SQL database and you will get this website which says free SQL database click here and you will get to the home page of this site now you can see there are two type of accounts one is full which is a paid one here you get uh, five databases and the storage space starts from 100 MB the other one is a free account which has a single database and the database space is only 5 MB but it is okay for our testing needs so you can just click sign up here and it will take you to a page where you have to type your email ID and click on register so let me type my email ID I am using a test email ID here and I will retype the same one and I will click on register so as soon as your registration will be complete you will get this message and you have to go to your email and check for uh, your inbox so let me go to my email and yes I have got an email from them thank you for registering and you have to use this link for completion of your account and activation so you can click on that link and it will ask you to set a password okay so click on reset password and it will say your password has been reset okay you can again go to your email and let us see if they you have got anything now after this uh, you have to log into your account so you will give your email address again and whatever password you had set and you can log in okay so it will give you the details of your account okay so you have to click on the upgrade my account okay this is free and no further information is required I'm clicking on upgrade okay so you will get this page you can just type this one give a location from where you are and click on complete my registration so now you can see uh, your account will be shown here you have to select a location where you want to host your database so let me select one location here save it okay and then you have to click on this start new database now as soon as you will click here you will get this information you will get the database host here the database name the username uh, database password will be displayed in some time and the status is please wait as of now but it will become live in some time okay so now after waiting for some time you will see that the database password will be check your email and the status will be live so you will get your database password from your email you can go to your email account and you and now for database administration you can follow this link for PHP my admin this is for creating new tables into your database so you can go here 
and now it will ask you the these details to log in which you will get from your email so this is the host name the server name is the host name you can type here then your username and then the password that you have got into your email okay and then click on go so this will take you to your my admin php my admin page where you can uh, create your tables okay so uh, you can go to whatever the database you have and here you can click on create table and you have to give the name of the table for example I am giving a, a name as employee uh, create your tables and give values to your tables and save it and then for accessing these tables again you will be using these host username and password and port for accessing your DB okay uh, let us look at the other one which is DB for free again here uh, you have to first create a free account so click on this link create a free account okay here it will ask you for a database name username password that you want to set and the email ID so let us say this is my first DB my first DB user let me create some password here retype the password and give your email ID and click on sign up so see uh, this takes a unique DB name okay so we have to change the DB name so let us give some number here my first DB1 let us see and yes this time it is successful and you will receive an email there will be an email where you will have a link where you can confirm your registration and after you confirm you can come again to this uh, DB for free website and this time instead of creating a free account you can directly log in with your username and password so I can I already have a, another account and I am using that account to login now it will take you to your php my admin page where you can create your tables and you can add information to your tables and then you can start using your databases for your testing purposes okay please okay please remember only use these DBs for testing purpose because they are uh, hosted publicly so do not use them for any other purpose again they will be very slow because they uh, they are publicly hosted and they do not have a dedicated server for you so these will be very slow and we can use it for our general testing okay so this is how you can create free SQL database for testing hope you like it thank you